Hello again, it's Jason with Pink Converged. Today I'm going to show you how to rename or replace a user. Uh, in other words, uh, somebody is fired or left the company and is replaced by someone else. I'm going to open up my manager and I'm going to open a configuration from my IP office. Once the configuration is open in the left hand side, I'm going to select user and I'm going to find the user that we are replacing. In this case, Bob Smith. Bob Smith didn't work out, we had to let him go. Uh, Bob Smith has been replaced by Susie Parson. What we're going to do is we want to keep the same naming convention as we've had in the past. We notice that the first part is first initial last name. So I'm simply going to do S P A R S O N. Down below, I'm going to actually spell out her name. Notice I'm doing this right over Bob's name. I'm going to select OK. Now, the next step we need to do is go to the voicemail tab. Under the voicemail tab we have a voicemail code and confirm voicemail code. This is Bob's voicemail code. Obviously we don't know what it is so we don't know what to tell Susie it is. So what we're going to do is wipe that out. And remember we're once we wipe that out it will walk the user through setting it up. In this case because we've changed the name here this name which is li just labeled name is what the IP office uses to create a voicemail box so since it is completely different the voicemail will actually create a brand new voicemail box for Susie Parsons we just have to make sure we remember to wipe out that voicemail code a couple other things just to keep in mind you might want to look at is do not disturb tab make sure do not disturb is not turned on for this user and if there are any numbers listed in the exception list, you might want to highlight them and remove them. And under forwarding, just make sure it's not forwarded, say, to Bob's cell phone or something like that. If it is, you want to uncheck that and take the number out. That's about it. Other than that, once you're all done, you're going to save the configuration. Again, make, it on, make sure it's on merge. Select OK. Once it is gone, Bob is no longer with the company. Susan Parson has replaced him, and now she can go ahead and set up her voicemail. Her name should already appear on her phone. She's good to go.